plants. This is a thrill about dry cropping. I'm also depending on the weather and I have to take what I'm dealt with at the time. See, we ran into a problem. As you can see, the ground is too hard. Looking at these big old dirt cradles, this to indicate that it's too, too, too dry. And with it being dry, it's tearing up the equipment and it's not digging the peanuts up like it should. It's broken. You can actually see some still left in the ground. Um, but during the maturity test, we was able to we still have time to dig them, so we're not really. How can I say it? We still have time. That's all. <laughs> now we just gotta wait on the rain. Looking at the soil, it's, it's kind of damp, but it's not wet, so it's still able to harvest. I'm satisfied with how they look and that how the digger is, you know, treating us right now. As you can see, you know, nice, good, healthy, organic peanuts. Right now, after we dig them up, we're gonna let them sit and dry for about three days. Then we'll be ready to harvest them. They're going to a peanut mill where they actually clean them and dry them. Then once they clean them and dry them, they'll weigh them. At this stage, we're looking at about another seven to eight days before we'll know how much pounders we got per acre. I feel real accomplished about growing organic peanuts just because of the fact that um, they require so much attention and chemicals and other type of nutrients just to you know, stimulate their growth. And for me to not spray anything on them, just really put some seeds in the ground and watch them come up. Um, as far as weeds, that's the only challenge that I battled this year with them. Um, the weather was treated me well, enough rain and sunshine. Um, but growing organic peanuts is it's not hard. It's just like I say, time consuming, and it's it's like anything else. You have to nurture it. So.